One of the many topics up for debate in the vinyl community all the time is 33 versus 45 RPM as far as full length albums go. Who prefers what, why, and my own personal thoughts coming right up. Hey, it's Russ from the Infectious Group Podcast and Vinyl Channel. Today's video is kind of an opinion piece. We do these every so often, and to me, I always want to cause as much discussion as possible in the music community. Uh, debates are fine, maybe not so much arguments and insults, but I love to have a good debate or hear other people's perspective on things. Uh, speaking of which, we always love the comment section below, so if you have an opinion on this topic, please, by all means, leave a comment below. Or we now have a Facebook vinyl group that you can join. The link in the, is in the description of the video, so you can go there, click on that, come over and join us in that group as well. Uh, but if either way, I would love to see comments on the video about anything I have to say in this video or uh, just your opinions in general on the topic of uh, 33 versus 45 RPM. If this is your first time on the channel, we do videos like this quite a bit, the uh, opinion topics, but we also share uh, special and rare pressings from my personal collection and all that stuff. Uh, so hit the subscription button or the subscribe button if you want to join us uh, every week for the two videos, hit the notification bell so you know when we have a new video. Uh, and if you enjoy the content on the channel, please make sure to hit the like button because that helps us grow. But as far as this particular topic goes today, uh, I personally, because of the way that my system is set up, and uh, if you go back to the second video on the channel, you can see a whole video of my uh, audio rundown and how our room is set up. 90% of the listening that I do in the room is actually probably not even from uh, the preferred listening standpoint. Like I, I sit very close to the um, the stereo and the turntable itself uh, because of the way our room is set up. It's meant for people to gather around in a large uh, circle around a big table and we all play music and we all enjoy. And for me, uh, the uh, fellowship and the uh, camaraderie of everybody sitting around listening to music uh, together matters more than me being right in the middle of the uh, stereo cone or being you know so many suggested feet out from it uh, I would rather everybody else gets the uh, the best audio quality so the biggest deterrent that I always hear for 45 rpm uh, full-length albums is that you know the songs are split up over sides so you take one, an album that was one LP and now it's got to be on two and so you end up having to get up and flip the record more often and uh, I totally hear that argument and if I sat in a place normally to where that was an issue where I would have to get up and go across the room all the time um, I might have a different opinion on this topic but for me the way that it's set up most of the time and we have people over quite a few times uh, a month to have to do these communal listens and uh, when I'm down here by myself and I do sit like in the sound cone and you know a certain direction away or a certain uh, length away from the the turntable itself um, I still really don't mind getting up to flip the LP when I feel like a certain pressing warrants uh, that 45 rpm treatment uh, for me i always want to get the best sounding version of something available so more often than not i will opt for the 45 rpm pressing if it's available for many records um, there have been some in the past where i've uh, opted for the other the, if there if there's two available if a 33 and a 45 rpm is available i've opted for the 33. uh one example that i can think of and i've shared it on the channel before is the analog productions version of uh, pet sounds by the beach boys and for me even though there's some debate in the community over really which version sounds better uh the 45 or the 33 uh, or if there's enough benefit to um, warrant getting the 30, the 45 RPM version. Uh, for me, the flow of that album matters more. So I opted for the 33 of that. And it's not a matter of getting up or inconvenience. It's a matter of I like the flow of that record more at 33 so you get all the songs on each side that you're supposed to. But overall, for 45 RPM pressings, uh, there are other records that people consider, you know, classics that <clears throat> might you might instantly point out and say 
uh, well, 45 RPM for sure destroys the flow of that album. Uh, I have the Mobile Fidelity version of Run DMC Raising Hell, and I've heard that comment uh, both on the internet and from folks uh, who've come over to listen to it. Uh, that, you know, the only complaint I have about this is, you know, the record flows perfectly at 33 and at 45 with the breaks. You don't, uh, it doesn't flow in the same way. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Troubled Water, I have the Mobile Fidelity one step of that. And that could be another one that people say that about. Uh, or even I have uh, Fleetwood Mac Rumors, I have the 45 RPM uh, palace pressing of that. For me, I think the uh, audio benefit of that particular record far outweighs any issues you might have with the uh, flow of that album and you know getting all the songs on one side instead of being split over uh, four sides in two LPs. So... For me, it's definitely a personal preference thing, but most times I lean towards the 45 RPM pressing of any particular record, unless I hear uh, really bad things about it, or uh, in the case of Pet Sounds, where all of the opinions that I looked up, people said it was marginal at best. But the 45 RPM pressings that I have, like uh, Sinatra Live at the Sands, the mobile fidelity pressing of that, uh, stunning stunning pressing and uh, you know to me uh, I would rather have the higher fidelity that comes with that so it really for me this topic all comes down to each individual pressing and I know in the community the reason why I wanted to do a video like this is in the community there's folks that are dead set one way or the other uh, they will only buy 33 uh, pressings they'll only buy 45 pressings and they have very very set opinions as to why they'll buy only that version of something and if you look at even mobile fidelity seems to be listening to the customers because as of the shooting of this video uh prior to now their one step pressings were all exclusively 45 rpm and they have just recently announced again as the shooting of this video that going forward they will have one step pressings that are going to be at 33 rpm uh, now that could be for two reasons uh, that could be that they've just plain listened to customers who said they really don't want records broken up into you know so many sides or they don't want the flow broken up uh, but I also think that that might be because they need to look into some records that you can't split up into 45 rpm uh, for me and of course we all know this and if you watch the channel I'm a huge Pink Floyd fan Pink Floyd has many albums in there career that you couldn't uh, split up into 45 RPM because they have songs that already take up whole sides of LPs as it is. So you couldn't even take an album like Wish You Were Here or Animals. Um, <clears throat> you could probably do it with The Dark Side of the Moon, but again, there's one that you'd be destroying the flow of that record completely, even if the, uh, the songs fit on each side when you did it at 45 RPM. So for me, I feel like that's why Mobile Fidelity, at least 50% of the reason why they're looking into doing 33 RPM one steps because of uh, issues like the community complaining uh, and or artists where they're not going to be able to do 45 RPM because of the length of tracks or the flow of the record. So for me, with these opinion videos, like I mentioned at the top, yeah, we've got a Facebook uh, group that you can come and join. Uh, but to me, the comment section is one of the best parts of having this channel. Uh, I love sharing my collection and my opinions, but I very much want to hear from the vinyl community. Uh, you know, what are your thoughts? Are you strictly 33? Are you strictly 45? And uh, either way, why? What, what is it that makes you say this is absolutely the reason why i always go with one format or the other do you have any opinions on mobile fidelity suddenly uh, saying that they'll now do 33 uh, versions of their one step pressings so all of those opinions is what i like to hear so please make sure to use the comment section below uh, if you like this topic in these uh discussion and debate topics please drop a like on the video because that helps the channel grow if you're not already subscribed i always say this but please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because we have two videos every week and we love to share everything music with everybody and uh you know whether or not you subscribe to the channel i would like to hear from you in the comments below but as i always say thank you so much for watching